All right, guys. Here we are today with another project. These are pieces that I had molded a long time ago. Um, I basically took um, pieces of wood, broke them apart, and molded them just messing around. Um, and I, of course, it's with epoxy and, and wood. This is a um, mahogany. African mahogany is what this wood is. I don't remember what kind of wood this was. Um, and then I have had multiple different colors. And I don't know how well you guys can see those. But I did spray them with uh, lacquer or some kind of finish. Just anyway. So they've just been knocking around for a few years. And... I am going to use them in a project. Okay, I got them all sanded up so that the uh, new epoxy that I'll be putting with them will stick to them better. Um, got that, the finish off of them. Um, I changed my mind on what mold I'm going to do. I have decided to use this mold which is just a little picture you can see um, it just gives me more um, options on how tall I want my piece you know does limit me because I am I did glue a piece of oak um, in the center so it's gonna limit me on uh, some things for my design but I feel like this is going to be the best to be able to get the biggest piece out of it so I'm just going to randomly put some pieces down in here see if I can get them in there just kind of willy nilly and uh, yeah see what we can do Boom. Just kind of want them in there, you know, not necessarily straight up and down. I know a lot of them will end up getting in that position because it's just what it wants to do. I don't mind if they float around a little bit. They're not going to float around a lot, but they will move some. Alright. So... I am going to bring you guys back in a little bit after I get things rearranged for the epoxy. Okay, with this one I'm going to go with a little coral. Oops. I'm going to have to put some tape over the top of this to keep that from... I think that that oak is going to probably eat up some of that. I have another little extra cup here with some stuff. Just some little chunks of wood I'm just going to throw my excess in. get these guys in the pressure pot okay well I am thinking about making this into a leaded box Thank you. 
because I got all the dangerous bits and pieces off of the end of that. I still got a little more rounding to do. Mm-hmm. Gotta get down to those pieces, so I'll have to come down quite a bit more. <clears throat> Clean this up. Make a tenon, a better tenon out of this. This was from a, just an old piece. Make this into a tenon that is centered better. I want to leave quite a bit of, if I make this in my t top uh, my lid, <coughs> I want to leave quite a bit of this so I can either turn a knob or something on top of it. A little finial or something maybe. So, let me get this rounded the rest of the way and we'll look at so I've got to take this down so I can put a tenon on the bottom of this also. Alright. Let us get back to turning.
loose enough. Alright. Alright, let's make her into a box. See what she's gonna look like. Let's get Chuck on. all these cracks. That's what happens when you gotta get all decorative and stuff with stuff and everything. Let's do a quick Yorkshire grit. We want the inside to look as good as the outside I think. side bits.
Hey, I might have accidentally forgot to push my record button whenever I was finishing off the inside. I don't know what part I got of it. Um, but I did sand and put um, uh, some sanding sealer and um, some of my sanding paste to finish off the inside. Now I've got to come back out and take care of a few other. I'm a little bit high here so I need to come down a little bit more and then work on just a few little spots before I start sanding on this and figuring out a little bit more of the wood on top and decided exactly what I'm going to do with that. Let's put some sanding sealer on her. I'll be redoing whatever around this top anyway. I gotta do some more shaping to it, but might as well treat it. To a nice little bath of sanding sealer. Yeah. That is good enough. Good enough. Okay, let's move on to some sanding paste.
Okie dokie then. Okie dokie then. Okay, here we are off the lathe. Let's have a little talk about her. Um, uh, one box in the books. Got the bottom off. Got the finial turned on the top. Um, I thought about putting like a metal piece on top, but it just I think with this copper color on this epoxy I think it would have been hard to go with that um, things that I like about the box and things that I don't I'm pretty good with the shape of her I'm disappointed in the light color of wood and using this color of epoxy I think I should have went with something different, something that didn't match that. It's just too close in the same color. I mean, you can still see it. I think it just would have popped better um, had I had a different, uh, a different color in there. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Um, I had done one of these previously probably about two or three years ago and I used a darker color and I did not have any of these light uh, that's actually African mahogany is what that the color of that wood is I had the dark and maybe this one 
um, those woods and with the little bit of epoxy on the end of them and it looked really cool but this one he, he's okay not I wasn't got into it and I was like oh no I'm not liking it so well and I did think that I would get through and not have that epoxy color on the back side of say this one let me hold this up here I mean you can see the transparency of this but you still see that copper color on the back uh, and I thought I was going I mean like this one you can actually see through let me take the lid off so you can kind of see with the lighting um, let me point this light over here a little bit you know I'm always turning lights around but let me see if that'll help so you can see like this you can see in there that you can see through it the purple um, that one you can't and I'm pretty I'm pretty thin oh there's the inside Um, and this is the inside of the lid. I the, the lid actually is I think heavier than the actually bottom part of the box. I should have hollowed more of this out, but I wasn't sure how hefty I was going to go on this, so I wanted it. <laughs> anyway, that is what it is. Um, so it's not a super tight fit it I think whenever I had it on the lathe and was uh, returning the outside to make sure I got the shape good um, and it kept spinning I think that just kind of wore that down a little bit anyway let me know what you guys think I want to thank you for watching my video. If you liked it, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, it's okay. I'm not super. I like the shape. I just don't like the way the colors and all that stuff turned out. A little disappointed in that. but So if you need to give me a thumbs down, it's alright if you do. Or just tell me in the comments. That's okay. Tell me. Tell me if you think a different color would have worked better. I, I do like the way that that uh, copper epoxy looks. It just wasn't the right the right color for the other pieces. So, again, thank you for stopping by and spending your time watching me. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and push that button. It it's free. Um, it'll let you know whenever I put another video out and um, leave me that comment give me the thumbs up share my video that that'll get me out to other people and yeah so I want you guys to have a great day and we will see you on the flip side oh we're gonna put her in the picture box too we'll get her in the picture box <laughs>